Do 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 do. Hey, that was my uh, my editing. Uh, <laughs> today we've got uh, this. So this was the this little guy was um, a NECA Terminator. Yeah. So this is the uh, the actual T T one hundred. I think T one. Yeah. It's been a while since I've, I've played with these and watched that movie. So this is the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator. He does have a little bit of a bendy gun situation. Um, this is an older one. It actually is a breaky gun situation. <laughs> Looks like I'll be gluing that. Um, I wonder why it was bending so much. So NECA, this is one of the older guard NECA ones. So don't take this as as, as it is. Uh, he twists and turns and does... A little bit he's not the greatest but he serves as a terminator and i i was like oh man one day i'd love to get a robocop of this then neca announces that they're doing a robocop of this and the only one for some reason that i saw was like a hundred bucks and came with a head and and i'm like i came with like a, a whole bunch of stuff like a, a chair and a bunch of other things and i'm like well i don't want to spend that much money so then I find out that they're doing Ultimate Robocop, and I'm like, oh, cool, I'll just get this one. Um, you cannot see it too well, but it is a very shiny package. We've got Robocop on the side. I uh, kind of wish that they'd have gotten more VHS on this guy. And then there's the back. <sighs> oh, I'm throwing stuff. And same thing on the top. You can open him up and see all of the glory. But I have a fun story about this. So I'm walking through um, Walmart, and my Walmart, and I think most Walmarts now, have gotten rid of their uh, price scanners. So it is annoying to try to find out if something is, A, what price it is, B, if it's on sale, C, if it's on clearance. So I'm going through, and I just I grab a cart, and then I go find someone at, like, theater department oh, that ain't good that ain't good i tried to find someone in the home theater department this uh was not very well in there uh to have them scan the items to see what they are so i'm walking through uh the home theater department and here's our back and there's a kid there he's there with his grandma he's like grandma 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 I want this. I want, I, want, I want you to do this. And I'm thinking, what is this kid freaking out about? He's freaking out about the RoboCop. And he had the box in his hand. And he's like, Grandma, Grandma, look. And I'm like, oh, man, that kid's got the ultimate RoboCop in his hands. I'm like, but I'm not stealing for no kid. That's first rule. Don't do that. Um, I've seen scalpers do that, and it drives me nuts. So I'm, uh, I'm there, and the kid's like, Take a picture of me with this. And I'm like, what? So he asked his grandma to take a picture of him with this. And I'm like, hey, kid, were you wanting that for Christmas or something? And he goes, no, I just wanted a picture with it. Okay. Kids are weird. And I looked at grandma and I said, hey, if you want that, you'd better take it with you. Because when you put it down and leave, I am purchasing it. And grandma just looked at it and it was in like a section with like $30 figures, right? This guy is normally, I think, $38 or more. Who knows? I, I, I don't, when I go to scan it, this is the phone part. I didn't even find anybody in, in the home theater department. They were all gone. <laughs> so like I couldn't even get him to scan it. So I just took it up to the front of the store. And, Cause of course the kid puts it down afterwards and I'm like, well, that's mine now. I gave you ample warning, child. Uh, that sucker is mine. Walk up to the front, and I had a few other things. Um, a couple Transformers that I've been putting off buying, and uh, I had a, a Samurai uh, Spartan I got over here. Oh, shoot, I didn't realize it had these on the back. So I'm like, okay, well... I did, I did my due diligence to get this kid to take the thing with him, and all he wanted was a picture with it, which is super weird, but kids are going to be kids, and hopefully one day he doesn't say, I hate that guy for buying that, I wanted it, 
because uh, I, I gave you a warning, kid. I told you I was going to buy this thing. <laughs> I was not messing around. Awesome if I had my snips. This is driving me nuts today. So, anyway, I end up going to the front of the store, scanning it at the register, and it comes up $15. I don't know what what lottery I had played, but I got this guy for $15. Bucks. Um, that scared me there. I moved this and did that. He does have the back pistons, just like the Terminator here. Man, does this feel way better than that Terminator. Um, I picked that one up a long time ago because I had a coupon that I needed to use. It was going to expire. Uh, I've heard disappointments with this, but it is RoboCop, so I probably don't care. Um, all in all, it looks okay. The iridescence, the, uh, the weird paint is actually really cool. I like that they did that, made it look like the, uh, strange RoboCop looking, uh, stuff so he does come with his um flip you off thing which i'm trying to figure out how to get this off there we go it actually pops off pretty easily uh that was surprising all right there well, my issues with NECA yeah, but it's super hard to get on. So I'm going to have to heat that up to put it on. I really don't care. I'm not even going to bother with that. I don't feel like breaking this thin plastic piece. But you can see it here in all its glory. It looks as it should. Cool. Uh, he does come with the Auto 9, I believe it is. Uh, which is neat. Uh, could use a little more. I guess this is accurate. I thought it was... Let some paint apps on it or something. Um... Articulation is pretty basic. Let me point her down so we can actually see this. Articulation we got here. His arm goes up to here, which, I mean, it's a RoboCop. Are we expecting Spider-Man out of this? I don't think so. He does have some up and some twist. And this arm's here. Now, I was expecting this guy to be pretty tight. He is very tight. And you do have a little bit with the... Uh, that that's actually more than i was expecting <laughs> that must just be the the mold doing that uh, and then you do have his knee here uh very little articulation around the hip it actually only walks like that so uh that's a little bummer but let's see what we got here so and this little piece of stuff tells you how to open the back the side this is really the the big one and different than most of the other ones is he can actually hold the auto nine in his leg uh, like so, so that you can put it in there. And I saw a video where a guy couldn't figure out how to put this in here. It is like so like obvious. I don't don't really understand how you wouldn't. You just pop it like that into the um, there. I mean, it it literally shows you to to do this on the piece of paper. So I I don't really I don't really get what what the problem was and then you fold this back down this is the hard part is that this piece has to fold with it down there and now it's stored in his uh leg as i said there's very little articulation going there you do actually have some here but no no twisting turns uh that it is RoboCop, though, so I don't know what you're expecting. <laughs> uh, and uh, you can put this on... Oh, I guess I should show that. Because I am going to store this with the Auto 9 out. There. There. There we go. Uh, you can store this. Or sorry, you can put this in his hand. better alive you're coming with me and then you get this weird uh i don't know spermy looking thing which is shaped like that which is supposed to be like the muzzle flash very strange muzzle flash uh in my opinion but whatever and then you can also 
pop his head off and the head came off way easier and pop this other head on there and you've got the uh the look there now i've been to like three or four um conventions where peter weller has been there and I have not gotten his autograph, so this might be the one that I get. Uh, since they have not made uh, Buckaroo Bonsai <laughs> figures, uh, NECA, please make Buckaroo Bonsai figures. Um, I will, I will go there. So here's here's a uh, Robert Cop versus uh, the Robinator here. And there you go. We have we have the duel. <laughs> Let's actually lower this down so I can get a better uh, shot at this. I just realized that I shot another video and had it way too high. There you go. So if you look at the iridescence, as, as I said, that is actually probably the number one reason why to purchase this over another one. Um, there are a couple other uh, big Mafex. Um, couple other companies doing robocops but they are very expensive uh, i might buy the ed 209 uh, i think there was a model kit for kane uh it's it's dependent on money situations i am trying to do my own toy line um and and it is expensive <laughs> so there's the terminator as well these both of these guys are uh pretty cool maybe i'll come up with some fun because i don't really have a robot uh robocop um I don't really have a, a specific section in my collection for these guys, but I think I might have to make some sort of like, I don't know, 80s, 90s sci-fi collection. This guy just does not stand very well. <laughs> He's got like tons of articulation, but he does not stand well at all. Like they, they have toe articulation here. Um, I don't know. I can't remember if this came with uh, a skull to crush. But uh, that that seems like it should have. And this the only, I also don't have any Terminator ones. Uh, I like that these are seven inch figures because then when they're with the six inch figures that I normally have, they do look bigger, and I kind of want it that way because um, I know he was a tall dude as well. But this feels like short for a seven inch line figure. Uh, I don't have a measuring tape on me, but I'm pretty sure. It's like, if it's seven inches, it's, it's just there. So, but there we go. We've got, uh, the RoboCop. Oh shoot. I completely forgot about this. This did come with it. This is his uh, sniper rifle, which is pretty cool. Which, uh, was that in the first one? I, it's, oh man, it's been so long since I've watched. I'm going to have to watch all those movies now, including three. I have to watch it. It's, it's part of Canon. Um, nuts <laughs> so uh i don't know how well he's gonna hold this though that's the big thing i'm sure this wraps around here fine not too worried about that yeah it's it's on there um but no it fits there pretty well don't know that he's gonna be able to do much of anything because like this uh, this arm is not gonna so what's he gonna i guess he shoots it like that i'm a sniper uh, <laughs> nice that they gave it to us, but, uh, didn't really need it. <laughs> cool. So there he is. Murphy. I, uh, I love this. This is also one of the more fun things that they've included in recent, uh, stuff. Cause NECA doesn't usually do that stuff. They kind of just stick to, here's the figure. There you go. But having that included is nice, and it's not like a leg you have to remove or anything like that to get it to work. It is just, it's just RoboCop. I mean, I'm really excited to have this guy. It is one of the the, the main things. You know what I am going to do? Uh, I am going to do a, a sci-fi shelf because I have an elf coming, and he doesn't fit anywhere. I've got an Elvira, and she's huge. I got nowhere to put her. Uh, I got some more horror stuff that I'm gonna do. So we're gonna we're gonna just have to make a shelf for these guys. Um, if you like this, please hit that like button, um, subscribe as well, uh, and leave a comment if you you, you feel so. Uh, until next time.
I'm Alpha Magnus, and I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs>